Welcome. In front of me, I have Infinix Note 40 Pro. And today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. So, uh, before I get started, I am going to quickly mention that doing so will allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. So, I do have a pattern set as well, for this purpose, and I'll progress from here as do I don't know it. Now, disregard the language right here, it isn't Polish and honestly, it won't really matter. So, to get started, we want to hold our power button, and then we're going to select power off once it shows up. Come on. There we go. So, power off. Now, when the device turns off, you want to hold your power button and the volume up at the same time. Now, it looks like we do need to let go of the power button a little bit sooner. Uh, as you've seen, uh, Infinix logo showed up and disappeared quite quickly. Uh, I let go of the power button once it basically disappeared, um, but I kept holding volume up. Uh, while holding volume up, the device will then attempt to boot into the recovery mode. Now, before it does so, you're going to get stuck on this page right here, so XOS. And what you want to do is hold the power button, press volume up, and then release power button. And from the recovery mode, we'll need to use uh, volume buttons to navigate in order to select wipe data factory reset confirm with the power button then select factory data reset it's going to give you message formatting data and then data wipe complete at which point reboot system now will be selected by default so press power button once more to reboot the device which will continue resetting it in the background but once it's finished we will be presented with the setup screen now one more thing uh, that i will add is uh, for this device, if you're doing this reset in order to get rid of a screen lock, once the reset is finished, most likely your device will become FRP locked. And what that means is when you're going to the setup, you'll be forced to verify either the previously used screen lock or the Google account. And assuming you might not know either one of those, you wouldn't be able to typically finish up the setup. Now, for people interested, I will be recording a separate video on well, a guide on how to bypass this and completely get rid of it. So, like I said, this will be in the next video. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.